All right, YouTube, this is Jawwilly5 doing a review on the XTS 15L502X. Um, I am actually showing you that you can put a hard drive caddy and replacing your DVD drive within the machine. Uh, whenever I bought this computer, my intent was to put a solid state disk, which I did, into the computer. After I put the solid state disk in, I had 640 gigs of hard drive just kind of sitting there. So I decided to go ahead and install all my games on it. So I left this in the computer. I used the USB 3.0 port to put all my games, install all my games onto this hard drive that I had laying around my house. Um, so this right here is my main hard drive for my games and anything else that I would like to, like some movies or you know homemade movies or whatever that I would like to put actually onto the hard drive then I will go ahead and put that onto this and I don't have to worry about using my solid state disk, my limited solid state disk uh, um, gigs. So without further ado, this right here is the Caddy. I got this off of eBay for $12.50. Uh, I think it's a 12.7 millimeter um, hard drive Caddy that fits in any 12.7 millimeter um, DVD bay. So with Dell, they do not use the slim versions. I guess there's like a slim version of DVD uh, rewriters and CD players and all that kind of stuff that you can put on computers. Well, I guess they don't use the slim version. They use just a regular standard 12.7 uh, millimeter version. So with with that being said, I have covered up my information on my computer so nobody can see you know my serial number or anything like that. That's why this right here is here. This is my lighter. Um, I don't smoke or anything, it's just just there. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in there, and now I want to caution you that I could not, could not for the life of me, put the, uh, there's like a little bracket that you would have to put a screw, um, that you put the bracket on, you push the um, caddy in, or you push the DVD player in, and you screw it down to hold it, be, have it be more secure. But because there's only one, if you can see right here, there's only one uh, screw. The other one doesn't, and this one right here, these two screws are together. This one does not have any kind of um, threading. So I cannot put another screw right there. So basically it would be useless. And plus the, the screws that I have do not go as far in as I need them to go. So basically if you want to have more security and to keep it in there, um, I would suggest going to your local hardware store, Ace or um, Home Depot or whatever, and getting some kind of glue or, you know, like Loctite or something. I don't, well, not Loctite, like Gorilla Glue or something like that, and put the actual um, mechanism on there so that whenever you do slide it in, you don't have to worry about it um, not being secure inside the player itself. So you can also screw it down. But anyways, I'm going to put it inside there. As you can see, I put the actual cover over it, um, which was fairly easy to do all of this. This maybe took 20 or so minutes. So it is now in the computer. And I'm just going to put my cover on. I don't even know why I left this off. I don't think I need it for anything. Uh, I don't have any screwdrivers on me. Oh well, I'll, I'll uh, screw it down in a little bit. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I need to screw it down right now. I'll be right back. Alright, so I brought like six screwdrivers because you never know which one is going to actually work. Alright, cool. So we're good. This is all screwed down. And now to lift this bad boy up. As you can see, my cover. I still skin it. I did a review on. And let's turn it on. Alright, guys, the computer's starting up now. I am just waiting for it to log in officially. 
once it logs in I'm going to show you that the disk is working and I'm just going to play a game well I'll start to play a game alright so alright so I have no idea what the heck I'm thinking, guys. I'm excited. This is out of my system forever. Well, I'm going to put in an external hard, an external casing so that I have an external DVD player. And if I ever need that, I'll just plug it. Hopefully, they come out with a three, USB 3.0 external DVD player. Not like that's going to make any difference at all because no matter what, DVDs are slower than molasses. But what I am going to do is go to here, my XPS games. So that's where all my games are. Yeah, I guess I don't have very many games. Actually, they're all installed on my solid state disk. But anyways, I am going to go like this. Go to computer. Oh, I was just freaking there. I don't know what I'm doing. Games and this is the external hard drive that I made internal through the caddy and I'll play Gears of War. Let me go ahead and put that on my desktop. It would help if I go to binaries first. Okay, I don't know if this is it. No, that's not it. This is it. Alright, so I'm going to put this on the desktop. The hell is a Penta taskbar? And well, let's play some Gears of War. And mind you, this is from the Caddy, the hard drive Caddy. It's my XPS games, and it should be working. And yay, it is! Yay, it is! So works pretty flawlessly, actually. So far, um, if I'm having any issues or anything, I'll go ahead and post up another review, but that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys, is that um, the Hard Drive Caddy is on sale all the time on eBay. It's only $12.50. You can hook it up. I was very hesitant to buying it because there was actually no reviews on the Hard Drive Caddy, and really, I'm not all about reviews of kind of, this is a third, I mean, didn't even have this uh, thing does not even have a name. The caddy doesn't even have a name on it. All it does is show you instructions on how to put it in. Actually, they don't even give you that. It's just like here, take this, and it was in like a little sleeve, and that was it. So uh, that's why I'm not wasting my time unboxing it because there's nothing to unbox. But um, that is my review on the hard drive caddy for the XPS L502X. Um, hopefully this helped out somebody and if you have any reviews or have your own questions, comments, or opinions, just leave it on YouTube. Thank you, Jobbly5.